correctly naming all of your photo files can be the difference between being able to find them in a jiffy and getting in a total mess. But are you not sure how to do it? Then check out my foolproof way to naming all of your photos. Hi, I'm Amanda Lescott, the photo organizer, and I'm all about helping you preserve and share your precious photo and video memories without getting overwhelmed. If you're looking to rediscover life's special moments and protect them for future generations, then be sure to subscribe and click that little bell to be notified every time I release a new video. How you name your photos can be a difficult decision and it is more important than you think. I have seen so many ways that people have decided to rename their photo files, some of which are far from helpful. But what is the best way? Well, in this video, I'm gonna give you my simple two-part formula to renaming your photos like a pro. Why rename your photos? The first good reason to name your photos in a standard way is because it makes them totally searchable by all of the information you put in those names. But it will also mean that Finder and Explorer will sort your photos properly and in an easy to use way. Not sure what I mean? Well, let's dive into the magic formula and you will totally get it. Part one, the date. The first part of my magic formula is the date. Yep, it is that simple. But there is always the creation date and the last modified date. I can sort by, I hear you cry. Well, yes, they are there, but if you edit or copy and paste any of your photo files, those dates are useless. So by putting it into the actual name, you are totally safe. But hang on there, how you write the date is the most important part. Whatever part of the world you are from and how whatever funky way you like to write those dates to make your photo files behave in the way you want, you have to write year, month, day. So the 1st of October 1999 is 99-10-01. Simple. The reason you do that is because Explorer and Finder will then sort your dates numerically using the year first, then the month, and then the day. So two things most definitely not to do is to put the month as words like September and October as they will be sorted alphabetically. Not very helpful. And most definitely one thing not to do is to do day, month, then year as sorting numerically, all of the firsts will go together and all of the seconds will go together. Well, unless you like to make life hard, just for fun. Part two, add event or specific details. If you know more information than just the date, then adding extra information into the name can be an added bonus, like New York or Amanda's third birthday, as then you know more about the file before you even have to open them. And it makes it totally searchable. A little watch out. There is one little watch out when it comes to naming your files. Not all file systems like spaces. So you could use underscores or dashes instead to make it easier to read and so you don't go boss-eyed. But I will say this is becoming less of a problem. But one thing to definitely not use is any special characters like question marks, as those are definitely not liked by all computer systems. Try opening a file in a Mac and then opening it in Windows. Not good. So there you have it, my foolproof way to naming all of your photo files. What formula do you use to rename your photo files? Leave them in the comments below. Are you struggling to actually start organizing your photos and videos? Don't know where to start? I have put together a simple, straightforward, quick start guide to organizing your photos and videos that's linked in the description below. So click through and I will see you there. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead with a like and a share and don't forget to subscribe. Have fun rediscovering your memories. I'll see you in my next video.